Hello, everybody. This is Chatty Dad One coming at you. Um, I've been very curious as to what's going on with Project Camelot. I haven't seen anything from them lately, and I've been, you know, just curious. And so I got to looking around several different places, seeing what's going on, looking at a few of their blogs. Uh, Carrie Cassidy has the blog, um, and started seeing some, uh, things that's just not cool. There is a war going on, a little bit of a feud, I guess you'd call it, with our alternative media groups, and it's, it's very sad to see. Um, these are the groups that I depend on to get me the stuff that I like and enjoy. And, uh, they're now fighting amongst themselves, calling each other compromised, this and that. And, uh, Project Camelot has had several of their whistleblowers that have tried to come out with stories killed recently, murdered. And, uh, they have handled them in a poor manner. Um, possibly could have uh, turned them over to the to the people when people were trusting them. Um, they're in a tight-knit group with Richard C. Hoagland, who can do no wrong as far as Kerry Cassidy is concerned. And he's also come out to say that uh, he has all this information about the face on Mars and all this stuff that he's promised to give everybody and produce which he will not produce keeps promising the moon and giving us nothing um, showing us pictures of clouds basically um, but anyways this is a little click that they've created um, Project Camelot and I believe that they've turned to the dark side. Every time anybody wants to uh, ask and question Richard C. Hoagland, Carrie Cassidy is right there to defend him, to jump on others, to call them uh, compromised and say that they're under mind control. But um, the whole thing's falling apart on them. Um... There seems to be a pecking order of uh, this alternative media. And it starts with small radio shows like uh, The Threshing Floor and uh, Little Fish, or I'm sorry, starts with uh, the Threshing Floor Radio, um, Miranda Kelly, Dave Corso, Wolf Spirit Radio, Off Planet Radio, that's uh, by Randy Manglis. <sighs> But Project Camelot is a fictitious entity. It is Carrie Cassidy, basically. And former White Hat operative at WordPress.com put in by the elites in my book to break down this group, to infiltrate it, and to cause major, major upsets with our alternative media groups to where we cannot trust any of them. And this is a major problem. Major problem. Um, Glenn Campbell, he was a whistleblower. You know, uh, started with small media, moving up. Um, with Gary 
the year. Um, told them not to mention his name or it would stop right there. Well, they ended up mentioning his name to uh, Project Camelot and it stopped right there. And uh, he hasn't been able to go. I mean, he was trying to get to coast to coast to put out his information. I mean, he had some groundbreaking information about some stuff going on. Black ops and such. Very important information that we need to know. Um, but I mean, this is, it's become bull crap. I mean, Duncan O'Finian has been claimed to have been compromised and said that he's been under mind control, that he might not have ever been able to be trusted, which we know that's bull crap. Everything he said has been right on. He, uh, I mean, he was even on, um, you know, Jesse Ventura, conspiracy theories. Everything he said was right on. Um, Randy Mangus has come under fire also. But this uh, former white hat guy has come in and, and just stirred up the whole thing. And like I say, Richard C. Hoagland is uh, untouchable. They surround him and they protect him. And anybody that questions him gets attacked. And... Uh, they're all now saying that Obama is the great savior and that he's going to save us all from all these things. And first of all, you know, Richard C. Hoagland said he'll never sign the NDAA bill. Well, he signed it, so he adjusted his little story there. But anyway, um, something everybody needs to look into, really, really need to look into, because this is not good for anyone who likes alternative media and likes to get the information that we need to know. We need to know what's going on for real. There should be no more secrets. But with this going on, we have disinformation, we have information, and we don't know what's true. Which brings back to the, uh, you know, maybe it should be this way, because we really should be getting our information from our Father in Heaven, from God Himself, we can receive personal revelation. If we pray, ask with true intent, just like it says in James, um, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who giveth to all men liberally, and abradeth not. And ask in true intent, so, you know, if you really, really want to know something, go and have a one-on-one -on -one with your Heavenly Father. And uh, when you feel like He's given you an answer, double-check it. Ask Him, is this, the, is this what you was trying to tell me? You know, for uh, they can come in different forms, and it ain't always going to come down as a harp. And, angels playing harps and singing or giant booming voice and usually it comes with a peaceful feeling and a still small voice just a sure knowledge of what you're going to do is right and uh, there will be no questioning but if you're making a wrong decision you'll continue to have questions come into your mind is this right is this right well what about this well what about that well, Satan's the one who puts doubt into our minds. He's the one who puts fear into our minds. And, uh, you know, practice your religion. Live it, whatever it is. And if you have a religion that teaches you to hate others or to lie or to kill or to steal and it's okay um, that's not from God um, I'm sorry to say um, but you'll know because it will coincide with the scriptures and the Ten Commandments and, and, and all of that 
I uh, know that the gospel is true. I've lived by it. And I'll tell you what, I've lived the other way as well. And there's so much peace and happiness with doing what's right and with what our Heavenly Father wants us to be. We are His children. We are of royal lineage. We have God is our Father. I mean, that's awesome. And He loves every one of us, no matter what. No matter what, He loves us. If you're here on this earth today, that means that you fought against Satan and the third of the hosts of heaven and threw them out. If you were born on this earth, then that means you're one of the valiant elite spirits from the, the pre-existence. And uh, know that. That gives you confidence and power. Know who you are, that you're you're something else. We are something else. We're very, very special, and God loves us. But um, check with Him. Check with Him. He's the main, main answer. Anyhow, hope this information is useful to somebody. Hope everybody's well, and uh, I love y'all. God bless. Good luck to us all. This is Chatty Dad 1 over and out.